two texts, the Sapphire's and Stan Grant's IQ20 speech, Racism is Destroying the Australian Dream, are two very powerful pieces that are able to amalgamate themes of racism, relationships and conflict within Australia. The Sapphire's is a historical movie directed by Wayne Blair, which follows a group of Indigenous women on their journey of self-discovery while they perform for the Vietnamese war troops. Stan Grant's speech is an in-depth exploration of his experience and thoughts on racism in Australia. The pieces delve deeply into racism in a historical and modern context, as well as relationships between land, people, culture and time, and the conflict that is present in our society in regards to Indigenous peoples within Australia. Racism is an important theme that is explored throughout both of these texts. The Sapphires is able to show racism in a historical context. The movie immerses the viewer into the 1960s world from the perspective of Indigenous Australians. The four Indigenous Australians experience the casual racism in which everyday Australians live their lives. In one of the first scenes, the women perform for people in a bar in their hometown. However, they are blatantly ignored. This is a key scene in which racism is evident in Australian society towards the Indigenes. In another scene, the main Indigenous Australian ladies are seen crying as they watch the news of Martin Luther King's death on TV. Martin Luther King was a symbol of hope for all people who are marginalised in society, but particularly those who were marginalised because of their race. He was a pioneer of Indigenous rights, and he influenced the whole world to start changing. In Australia, he was a role model for the Australian Indigenous Civil Rights Movement. There is irony in the idea that these Indigenous ladies found more kinship with the African American people than they do with the people they live in Australia with. They are able to relate to each other because they have both experienced racism and marginalisation in their own country. Stan Grant's speech is able to broach the theme of racism in a more rounded way by including the past, present and the future. People like to think that problem is solved because they can't face the ugly truth that racism isn't just a historical factor but is actually still evident in Australia. Grant is able to incorporate both historical and modern stories to highlight this point. The anecdotes about his family's history with racism are very personal and they allow us as an audience to visualise and empathise with these people who had such traumatic experiences. Grant uses the motif of the Australian dream the Australian culture is the idea that everyone works together toward the greater goal of creating a better Australia. However, how can this be achieved when Australia was founded upon racism? Grant uses the example of terra nullis, nobody's land, to highlight this point. When Australia was formed, it was upon the basis that nobody owned this land, even though the Indigenous people were present in Australia thousands of years before us. Grant asks us, how can we improve an ideal if it was founded upon racism?